Welcome back, back to, to the, the basement, basement, the friendliest, friendliest place, place on YouTube. YouTube. We are playing some more Breath of the Wild today. This is episode two of our uh, unconventional playthrough. Let's play, but it is unconventional in that we're going to take a lot of uh, comments from you guys under advisement as far as how we should play this game. You're going to let us know what sort of special weird criteria you want us to put on ourselves while we play the game. Because we want this to be not just about uh, the two of us, but also about you guys. That you get to sort of choose how the game goes. Right. So, Ted and I are sitting here. We're going to record getting off the plateau. However many episodes that takes uh, all tonight here on the first night that we're recording. But then after that, we're going to be looking to the comments uh, to see what you guys have to say about the way that we... <laughs> Look at him take his sword out. The Ted's doing the um, uh, whistle slash run trick. Where you can go as fast as running Link without using up stamina. Yeah, and, and I'm, it is I sort don't of a plan on doing this the whole playthrough because that would be annoying. But for it's everybody. nice to try to get off the the plateau in the beginning. So we're just gonna. I mean, I think in these first few episodes we're gonna kind of ignore enemies. Um, we'll open those uh, the downloadable content chests that. Oh we yeah! Have. If you haven't seen those, this you'll get a chance to see them. Right. And uh, what was in that first one? Uh, it was a ruby, Ooh, which that, is worth a lot of money. Yeah, like, yeah. So, like it's funny how many something? rupees rubies are worth. Okay, now the, the switch shirt's going to be here. I would go around to the back of this thing. It's on top of a wall. Oh, near yeah. Near the shrine. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we, we're no match for these guardians at this point. Yeah, there's the chest. I saw it. Off to the right. Oh, man, that bombable wall. We don't even have bombs yet. Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. There goes your speedrun tactic, Mr. I don't look at my stamina wheel. Oh no! I woke one up! That's not good. Man, I almost didn't wake any of these up coming in. Now, some of you guys have been asking in the funny moments videos. Hey, Switch shirt! Where'd you get the Nintendo Switch shirt? There. Right there. We're yeah, gonna right wear there. it right now. Yeah, might as well. And it's time for shrine number two. Um, now, number two. I did. <laughs> I did look this up. This is rather funny. On the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild, if you buy the DLC and you open that chest, you do get a Nintendo Switch T-shirt. Really? I mean, I guess. I, I, I suppose don't know. they're like. It'd be funny if they made. They're a like, Wii dude, U shirt. just upgrade already. Seriously, you're playing a Wii U. Really? Come well, on. <laughs> well, you could say we're trying Nintendo, but um, I can't find a Switch. <laughs> <laughs> And a lot of people if are still you made having more. Really, people are still having a hard time finding them. I, I mean, I look every time I'm at the store, and they're never there. Yeah, there's a guy uh, that I work with that's like, "Oh man, you've got one? Oh, I've been trying to find one." It's like, yeah, well, I just got one when they were first available. I mean, I say that casually, but you know, as you guys may know, Ted and I, uh, after the Nintendo Switch presentation, the day that pre-orders were opening, the next day in the morning, yeah, uh, we went to GameStop early on a very, very cold day. I was standing outside to be the first one in line to pre-order first. And uh, yeah, GameStop. And then we... A lot of people have bad stories about GameStop, but I had a positive experience. They even accidentally ordered um, the Wii U version of this game. And uh, they apologized profusely and switched it back to uh, the Switch version. <laughs> switched it back. So that worked out great for me. No fuss, no muss. I was really worried Shoot. that... Wow. Oh, gosh. I forgot. Like, we're going to die. I'm not careful here. Yeah, you got to be careful. Got to be careful. These bombs will do you in. Ironically, you might be doing better if you weren't wearing your Switch shirt. <laughs> I don't know if the other shirt has better armor or not. Don't just throw and blow. You're gonna... Oh, Ted. What? With half a heart left? I'm fine. Look at this. I Boom. Will, yeah, you're speed fine, run. but... Speedrun! Well, then why'd you run out of stamina? Because I'm speed running. <laughs> you gotta peek. You gotta be careful. I okay, guys. Here's here's uh. Let us know in the comments below what should be the punishment for the first death if it doesn't happen oh. on the plateau. Ooh. Look at that. See, we're full of health. Um, Shh. whoever dies first has to have a permanent tooth removed by the other. Oh my of god, that's terrible. <laughs> With a spoon. Oh. You just have to hit it over and over again until it just shatters like into gently. pieces. Tink. Tink. Oh. Tink. Ow. Make a video, an eight-hour video. Tink. 
Tink. Gosh, that would get so flagged by the community. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. It, that, like, Come on, YouTube, don't let us This is flagged down. as torture. Okay, um, oh, you marked all of the dealy bobs, didn't you? Yeah. So we're not going to do that one. We're going to go over to the winter one. Winter Wonderland. Okay. Now, uh, oh, you're going to run out of stamina. You don't want to run out of stamina and fall down on the first side of the wall and have one of those guys have you in your sights. True. Hey, so here's a question. Do not want that to happen. What should we do with our first upgrade? A heart container or a stamina wheel? Ooh, it's true. That's a that's an important consideration. That is, a, like, people are going to see this and go, like, oh, you should just get the heart container because you could always do that. And yeah, then I'm going to... Oh, not very easy to I do forgot that. I don't have a paraglider. <laughs> Um, I, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm not going to do this for the entire game. It, it's just, it feels really stupid. Yeah, we'll stop by episode seven. Also, the running looks really derpy and funny. How, how many episodes do you think this is going to take us? I guess it depends on how complete we do it. Now, we're not going to take every single comment, um, like, to total fruition, right? If you say... Um, play the whole game without any swords. Yeah, find find all. We the might play like a couple episodes without any weapons because we don't want like other people who join in later to not be able to have any kind oh, of. You should be grabbing up either. apples while you're going. Oh yeah, it's Mr. true. Mr. Low Health, Fine. Mr. No Health, Mr. Hit bomb Self. Yep. Ah, three apples. <laughs> I always just, I don't know if it's the best way to do it or not, but I always just grab two apples because that's what you can reach from the ground. Oh, yeah. And I don't bother knocking the tree down. That's just me. Um, what was my ridiculous? Oh, uh, find all 900 Korok seeds blindfolded. <laughs> right, like, we're not like, going to take no, every... No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> <We're>, yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah. We'll read every suggestion, but if it's stupid... <laughs> If it's terrible, we we're just going to ignore you. We're just not going to do just it. Just kidding. No, we won't ignore you. We'll just uh, not do your suggestion. That's true. Okay, so we're going toward the snow? Yes. Are we going via the pepper path? Yes. So you can cook yourself some peppers? Yeah, so w I think the quickest way to do this is to cook the peppers, you know, get some peppers, cook them, eat them, and then, uh, uh, oh, are you going to be able to get up? And then um, you want you want that out that shirt that keeps you warm. Ooh, such a low amount of stamina, <laughs> and it gets used up so quickly. That's not gonna roll. There you go. Now you're on a roll. Oh man, you should just swoop in and grab that grab that meat. These guys die pretty quick from these bomb. Oh, the bomb is weaker though. Uh, at first, I've forgotten. I've had the the upgraded deals for so long. Remember, you don't have a paraglider. Yes, I was I am immediately tempted to jump off that. Just jump cliff. off the cliff. Yeah. Be like, yeah, whatever, no big deal. We're gonna get all this stuff now. It's weird because like I'm watching the speed run guy and he's like not getting any things because it slows you down. He's yeah. literally only picking up the stuff that he wants. And, and then he went a different way. Like he literally went across here. I don't remember how he got across. He Oh, he did the shield jumpy flip trick to get across the bridge. And then he went over there without any peppers and he made it to the shrine with a half a heart of health. Oh, jeez. Like, he, it took all of his hearts to yeah, get over Yeah, that's why we're not attempting that, because we're not... Right. You have to be really proficient to speedrun this, and we're not. Right. We're not. <laughs> Which is fine. We may... You know what we may do, though? I don't know. It's undecided. Leave a comment if you have an opinion on this, but I was thinking maybe um, we could skip a lot of, like, item stuff, like, uh, like um, enemy parts, you know, or gathering up um, ingredients and stuff. But That's we could true. maybe do some of that off screen, like between episodes. Or is that a bad idea? Do you want to see every keys wing that we pick up? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of peppers. Is that where you had to cook them? Uh, do you, oh yeah, I suppose if you cook them, then they give you more something or other well they they heat they keep you they give you cold resistance they won't 
if you uh, don't. That's Although, true. Could you just light a torch and carry that with you? Would that be enough? I don't know if that's true. Do you know if that's true? A torch? Yeah, if you just carry a torch. I know it warms you up a little, but would that be enough for our purposes? Yeah, it actually does. It's enough for the snow on the plateau. Then I guess we don't need to cook the peppers, although we might as well. You can't cook while enemies are near? Really? I did not know that. Do I have any arrows? Uh, I don't think so. I have a bow. Ooh, I do true. have five arrows. Good. Are you sure? Oh, wait, no. Or is that attack I, power that's five? That's the attack power five. I am not used to seeing that. Okay. Oh, I wonder if you could do it while they're asleep. Gosh, you know what? Here's an idea. How about I just try to eat a pepper and see what happens? It won't warm you up. Oh, you're right. You have to cook <sighs> it. I don't understand why we're down here. Yeah. Will that work? If I get it close enough for the fire, I think it will. There's... The other entrance to the cold... Grab it. It's on fire, right? Gotta wait until it's roasted. Oh, a charred, charred pepper. pepper? Oh, nothing. No. Still doesn't do any of that. Isn't Man. there a different entrance to the cold that is like, it's through a gate and there's a cooking thing right by it and there's more... Oh, yeah! Go there! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, man, I've all right, been next. saying this the entire time, and I haven't listened to you at all. I'm so sorry. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next time in the basement, Definitely. we'll meet you at that spot, and then we'll wander into the cold with our uh, our freshly cooked peppers and our heat resistance, and that'll be fun. We'll do another shrine or two, and uh, we'll get off this plateau. Basement Dollars, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, and uh, leave really, leave comments below about what you're hoping for from this series. We're going to start... Uh, once we get off the plateau, we're going to start doing stuff that the comments say um, in this series. And if you're having a good time, hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, Basement Dwellers, uh, we think that you are more sealed for freshness than uh, the Tupperware guy. And when I say the Tupperware guy, I mean the guy who invented Tupperware who was found dead inside of his own Tupperware. Oh, that guy. In the, in the basement. basement. Oh, creepy. In a basement. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse. Brutal.